Aloha everyone, Z808 here. And today we are going to talk about Tower of Congress. Now, I'm sure everyone is somewhat familiar with the tower because as you clear the different floors, you do get these awesome, awesome rewards, uh, as you can see here. However, these rewards is only for your first clear. Once you clear them once, then what you really will be looking forward to is the weekly rewards. Now, the reason why I want to bring up, uh, bring your attention to the Tower of Conquest is normally if you clear, let's just say for example, if you're at six, if you clear up to six, five, and you get your first clear rewards, great. And you said, well, you know what? I'm going to stop climbing. Then next week, you're actually going to get bumped down to a tier below. So if you update up to 6.5, from what I understand, you'll be starting at 5.1 because that's one tier below. Okay. Um, so that, that means then you have to work your way back up. And then if you want to, you know, then you have to work, uh, finish 6.5 again and then work on 7 and, and 8 and 9 and, and so forth. Now, that's a lot of extra work, um, in my opinion. I'm, I'm a bit lazy. Uh, and I like to make things easier, especially if I have done something once. Now, I have uh, take the liberty to try something a little bit different because I was always curious. It's like uh, doing this after the second week, I believe, I, I completed uh, up to 10.5. But I didn't really know is like what happens if I clear up to 10.5. I know these are the rewards I'm going to get. And the following week, I know for a fact that I will start at 9-1. Now, however, if once I'm done with the first clear, if I finish nine, you know, finish up to 10-5, if I own, because every time you do uh, each fresh week, you get up to these, these rewards here. So if I finish 9-5, for example, then I get all the rewards. But if I do anything after that, so if I do 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, I get absolutely nothing. It's just more for a challenge. Um, to me, I feel like that's a really big waste of time if there's no reward associated with it. Um, but then I'm worried that, well, if I don't do this, would I then, because I only did up to 9, 5, would I drop down to 8 and 1? So I tested it this past week and good news. If you have already clear up to 4.10.5, you will start at 9.1. And as long as you finish nine up to 9.5, you actually just start at 9.1 again. You don't have to do 10-1 or 10 up to 10-5 or whatnot. As long as you come finish all 10 floors, you, fit, you do your five weekly um, levels and then you get all your rewards. Then each week, the only thing you really need to do is just just five of those five um, levels to get your full maximum reward. And you may say, well, you know, um, the rewards are not that great, and I I, I don't agree. I think the rewards in, initially I thought the same thing. I think the reward kind of suck, but not really. But <laughs> the reason why I say that is because as you you complete these. You get um so the 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 first is ninety hundred ninety hundred so the the luck site part is not that great but the, what's really good is these uh, insignias because you get three twenty three thirty three twenty three thirty that's a little over a thousand and they are really good because if you look at the store in the insignia store. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's every two weeks or every month. I think it's every two weeks that they refresh. But you look, you can actually have an opportunity to get a trinket. Uh, also get a, another chance to get a legendary gear. So it's a trinket or weapon and, and a random opportunity to get a weapon. So that in itself, the ability to get a trinket is just awesome. And of course, not to say, not to um, forget the dust, the right, the radium, radium powder. That is something that is very scarce, as well as a legendary radiant ores. So all of these items are just fantastic. And of course, once you get into the end game, you are gonna need a lot more legendary engraving chests because that's uh, you know you're, not, you're gonna run out of content, and in order for you to upgrade, you're gonna have to 
roll or do these engravings to you know take your luck to see if you can get even better and of course not to forget the um the star girls right to talent um i don't think any of us even if you reach level 60 to be able to finish any of your um your your talents anytime soon so it is definitely uh the insignias is going to be a very important resource for you to continue to upgrade your um your your progression or, or, or to make you feel good so that you want to keep playing because I, I think one of those things that would ultimately make me stop playing is if I feel like I'm no longer progress progressing in the game in some sort of way um, not sure if you would agree with me on that one uh, and on, on one more note is that it is possible to complete up to 10-5 without meta units. In fact, I think using meta unit is more difficult when you're on the lower level. And you are able to clear up to 10-5 when you are at level 35. Yes, you heard that correctly. Even if you're level 35, I know the mobs are like 60 or 70, you can actually clear all the way up to 10-5. Um, and I actually use some of these people's guides, the two, two really great um content creators that i highly recommend one is called azure and the other one is called hockey they make great content great guys they use a lot of non-meta units in fact um i think azure specifically use like free to play uh, as he you know, um, uh, mentions it in his, in his in his content that that's what he is uh, focusing on so I highly recommend for everyone to look at the channel to see if you can maybe use some of the strategies specifically for the tower and to complete it because once well for the first time you get great these really really good rewards but in addition to that every week you definitely want to get the highest amount of rewards because these insignias are going to be the key to upgrade your uh, your account at Endgame. Um, I guess that's really I want to say. Um, so just kind of recap. Uh, tower, something you def I highly recommend doing. If you're at le least level 35, you can definitely complete it. Go ahead and uh, take advantage of these two content creators' guides. And I believe they post guides weekly because the tower changes weekly. Uh, but you can use their guides and complete it. And in addition to that, uh, if you complete up to 10-5, you no longer have to worry about doing you know, extra, uh, I guess, um, stages. All you need to do once you clear, clear up to 10-5 is just do your five a week and then you're done. And if you're feeling really lazy like me, just wait for the, the content creators to give you the answer. You can go ahead and just copy theirs step by step and boom, you're done. And then you can focus on your other things that you, know, that you enjoy more whether it is um, with the <clears throat> the Fool's Journey or even with Spiral Destiny. And that's that's really it. Uh, hopefully you uh, you would agree. If you disagree, um, you know, feel free to put that down in the comments. Uh, but if you enjoy my content and you love to hear more, uh, really appreciate if you give a like. Uh, remember to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you, take care, and aloha.